Hey there, guys. Good morning. How are you? For those that's awake at this time, thanks for joining me again. I am Pat, the Queen of Wands. All right, so I was awakened tonight, all right? And I appreciate all of you guys for subscribing. I truly appreciate you guys. And thanks for hanging in there with me through these trying times as my station is being hacked. And I, de I definitely uh, know this, okay? So, um, <clears throat> and thanks for all the all the bookings and all the purchases i truly appreciate you guys i definitely have new products coming out every time i say i'm gonna post them it seems like you know i kind of sell them okay so um i'm heavily into what i do and i uh truly appreciate everyone who stands by me and support me all right and those of you who uh don't um, hey to each his own. Okay, so I got some energy here and I was wakened by spirit and I come and start shuffling and look at the card I get spirit awakens All right, and this is me embracing my soul purpose and aligning myself and with, with spirit as full aspect of my life All right I'm aligning myself with spirit, all right? Spirit has awakened me to give this message this evening, okay? Spirit has awakened me. So I'm embracing the call to give you guys this message because I was awakened, okay? <clears throat> and a lot of you guys are awakened as well, all right? The message I got is you guys might meet someone new, okay? This person could have been sent in by the ops okay somebody is trying to send someone in to uh be flirtatious with you if it's a male energy this person might be very aggressive and very flirtatious with you if it's a woman energy this woman might come off as easy seductive and all into you okay so um it's the energy that they might be really aggressive this is like trying to contact you, be right on top of you immediately, um, just very aggressive, calling you a lot and right off the bat. And Divine want you to know that this is a red flag, all right? We are being tested, all right? Now, this might not resonate for everyone, all right? But the ops is sending in someone, all right, that is due to portray you, this person is working for the ops. They want to know your business, how you live it, where you live it, what you got going on. If you're dating somebody new, all right, because they are the ones that's scamming you. They scamming you. And this person is being sent in to see what you know. All right, to see what you got going on here so they can report it back. This person has been paid. All right. Now, this part may not resonate for everyone, but this person is the hitman all right divine saying this person could be the hitman okay and they're trying to get to know you plot against you okay and this person you know trying to make themselves comfortable with you all right to possibly set you up take you out on a date someone could be planning a kidnapping with you all right so it's a need to be wise all right. If you run cards or play, uh, run some tarot cards, run cards on that person that you meet. All right. Run, drop a couple of cards and see what divine is, uh, telling you. All right. If you don't see if you can get a reading. All right. But someone is definitely for the ops. They have been paid to work for the ops. This person might come off a little aggressive for you. All right. They might be too aggressive and turn you off. But you have to know that this person is working for the ops and they're being aggressive because they have a job to do. Okay. <clears throat> yes. When I was out shuffling, look, I got the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. All right. This is past energy. They plant this. All right. Somebody want to fuck up your new beginning and cause conflict in your life. All right. Somebody could also be sending you a sexual entity. All right. Somebody definitely want to sleep with you. This could be someone that is working for someone else. 
All right. This is part of a toxic family and friends situation right here. All right. And also, you guys could be seeing spider webs. All right. Not saying this is a spider, but it's similar. But you guys could also be seeing spider webs because somebody is caught up in a web. All right. And you play some type of role in that web. All right. Is dealing with this high priestess bitch. All right. This person is is part of all of this right here. All right. Whoever this uh, high priestess is, this fake tarot reader, this person is part of this. All right. This person could be tying people with sexual entity ties. All right. You are hardly guarded. Okay. But this person also wants you dead. This person do not want you to evolve. All right. They look at you as the other woman. All right, so this has really turned dangerous and tacky here. All right, somebody's trying to manifest you back in their life here. All right, and you're also manifesting your life, but somebody else is trying to create obstacles and challenges and delays. All right, and you're manifesting your dream, and they're trying to keep you at a crossroads. Not knowing which way to go, they're trying to confuse you. Somebody is sending you astral sexual attacks. All right. And also, if you're not gay, someone is trying to send you energy so you can be uh, attracted to the same sex. All right. If you're not, they're trying to send you energy to be attracted to the same sex. OK. And this is some of the sexual attacks that they're sending you. All right. And someone is doing sex magic rituals to implant sexual thoughts into your mind about them. So if you're not sleeping with this person, all right, they're sending magic, all right, so you will want to sleep with them. So you would be sexually attracted to them, okay? This is what they're doing here. And this all ties into this person doing sexual magic to keep people trapped in situations, okay? <clears throat> so um, this is one of my first decks right here that um, I used when I first started doing tarot. And I found this deck here. All right, and this is the sun card. Okay, so this is one and nine. This is a ten. So there's a situation that has come to an end because something has been illuminated. Okay, and at the end of the day, at the end of the situation, these plans are going to work out perfectly. Somebody has amazing ideals that lead to rewards. All right, and this is gratitude for the blessings in life. All right, this is a Leo possibly. All right. That is really just happy for whatever life has given them. OK, somebody's not all about the hoopla. All right. Somebody's not all about materialism. Somebody is very grateful for what God has given them, whether it's big or small. All right. And I can resonate with that energy. OK, so and yeah, and somebody's also trying to send you um, telepathic communication. All right, somebody's definitely trying to connect with you, and they also possibly want to send you a gift of love. All right, but somebody is close to love. All right, somebody's attracted to you sexually because they think that is what love is. All right, so we got the devil here. All right, and I'm going to clarify this devil because somebody is doing spell work. All right, again, every day to cause conflict in your life, definitely to stop your new beginning here. Holy Spirit, all decks have been shuffled. What is this energy of the devil that's doing this spell work, Holy Spirit, behind the scenes? Thank you. All right. Someone wants you to, they want to silence you. Somebody wants to silence you and keep you from telling the truth. All right. And God said, this goes for you too, Queen of Wands. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Have you just been speaking truth? All right. And standing in your power. All right. And telling it like it is also a tarot reader or somebody who pull cards and no messages. You are telling the truth. And just somebody wants to close your mouth. That's why they're trying to set you up and send people your way. OK, they're trying to set you up here. This is the devil. All right. They're not working alone is what I hear. All right. And this is blocking, causing you to have a lack of creativity. Somebody wants you to deal with sexual dysfunction, isolation, repress, repress sexual energy. All right. Somebody wants you to um, not think about sex or not be able to fuck good 
is what I'm picking up on here. All right. And this is confuse you about your sexuality as well. All right. Emotionally, you know, in isolation, got you all up in your emotions, confused about how you feel about love and sex and romance. All right. Somebody's on that tip. All right. And this is, yeah, using jar spells. All right. To hex you to have breakups and unhealthy relationships. Wow. All right. So they try to keep you in the jar. Somebody want to run your life. They don't want you to love nobody. All right. And this is chakras are unblocked. All right. So somebody tried to block your chakras. The devil did. But divine unblocked them. All right. You know exactly what's going on. You see clearly your emotions are intact. All right. For those of you who this applied to. All right. If you just all over the place and your feelings crying all day, you need to work on yourself. All right. Because divine unblocked your chakras. All right. You got to be able to take some step forward if nothing is changing in your life. OK, because the devil is working overtime on you. OK, Holy Spirit, what is this energy here? All right. But a lot of us is immune to it. OK, and this is someone in your family is doing spell work against you to stop your success and your abundance. This is someone in your own family that is the devil. OK, and this is someone is conjuring demons to enlist help to work against you. Wow. This is so fucking deep, ain't it? OK, demons now. All right. Somebody is working with the fucking devil themselves. Look at this shit. All right. This is just scary as hell. I mean, this is scary. Look at this. Somebody is trying to literally work with the devil. This is really sad energy. I feel sorry for that person because all of that toxic energy, Holy Spirit, we're returning it to the sender right now, Holy Spirit. And we're asking for divine justice and divine law for this devil. That's trying to come in our way and destroy our life and our families and put all these hexes on us, Holy Spirit. We ask that you cleanse this energy. We ask that you return it to the sender in a way that you see fit. All right. Whether it's life, whether it's death, Holy Spirit. We ask that you send it back to the sender tenfold, a thousandfold, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> they don't want me to send this back to them. Look at them trying to stop my speaking. Trying to stop it because I'm sending this right back to you. May you be stuck in this jar that you try to keep us stuck in, Holy Spirit. May their chakras be blocked like they try to block ours, Holy Spirit. May their success and abundance and prosperity be blocked, Holy Spirit, like they're trying to block ours. May this demon be sent back to them tenfold, Holy Spirit. We return it right back to the sender. Whatever you see fit, Holy Spirit. However you feel to handle this situation, Holy Spirit. Look at this. Someone is doing sex magic to manifest you. Somebody is definitely doing this sex shit. This is what somebody doing sexually. This might be somebody you don't want to sleep with because you've been warned that some motherfucker got a disease. All right. Somebody is trying to give you something. That's why they're trying to work on you sexually. All right. This shit ain't working. We still don't want to fuck you. All right. All right. Y'all said amen. <laughs> I better see that amen in the comment section. Okay. That shit ain't working. A lot of us is immune. A lot of us know exactly what the fuck is going on. All right. I know this bitch do. All right. So you better get that shit in check here. Don't nobody want to sleep with some motherfucker that got a fucking disease that's trying to spread this shit deliberately, all right? Because they got with some diseased ass, okay? Hate to be so negative, okay? But when you sitting up here putting this energy out on other people, you know, who are you? I feel sorry for you to try to conjure up demons just to ruin someone's life, all right? God bless you. I feel sorry for you. All right. And this is a major curse breakthrough. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We just did this shit and we sent it back to you here on the Queen of Wands and the West Shaking family. They said it's going to be a major curse breakthrough here. All this shit ain't going to work. That's what Divine saying. This shit ain't going to work. It's going to be a breakthrough right here. All right. Look at this. They don't even want you to sleep. Okay. No sleep. Somebody doing a spell on you, no sleep. So I guess that's up here. Who tonight, huh? Who's not getting no sleep, right? Okay. Holy Spirit, what is this energy? What else do you want us to know about this fucking devil? All right. They're trying to stop us from doing everything. They said from balancing out your lives. 
All right, but y'all got to balance the temperance angel here who's coming in here to cleanse this energy. All right, they want to indoctrinate your lifestyle. All right, and they want you to do things that you would normally do. You wouldn't normally do. All right, and this is hair magic. All right, somebody wants to um, want you to reject your goodness. You know, somebody want you to be open to swingers. Somebody want you to be open to sleeping with multiple different lovers and threesomes. Open to uh, polygamy style relationships. Open to liars, baby mamas, money problems, issues. Somebody wants you to be open to that shit, all right? Somebody could be trying to do spell work so you can change your lifestyle to incorporate into the lifestyle that they live, all right? Which sounds like a bunch of bullshit, all right? Holy Spirit, what is this energy? Harem magic, all right? Somebody wants you to be caught up in a harem of different motherfuckers. And they want it to be okay with you to be a second, a third, a fourth, a sister wife, a side piece bitch forever, all right? And motherfucker for a dude, okay? All right, someone is working to break through your spiritual boundaries. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They don't want you to be this good bitch. They don't want you to be this good dude. They want to break your boundaries, okay? It ain't working, all right? It ain't working with me, at least, okay? And this is blocks causing a uh, synocrit, syn I can't even pronounce that word, but closed-mindedness. Disconnect from spirit, disregarding spirit, just closing off your crown chakra. You guys could be having heavy headaches, migraine headaches, and somebody is trying to close off your connection with spirit, okay? Close off your connection, all right? So I'm also going to be making me some spirit candles, all right, to widen your connection with spirit, all right, to advance your connection with spirit, all right, to help you connect with spirit, to block that negative energy that they're trying to send your way. But divine said, I also got this energy as well, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at this, doing graveyard magic, okay? Out here doing graveyard by the cemeteries, all right? And also somebody have a voodoo ritual and a voodoo doll of you, all right? They out here conjuring up demons in the graveyard. Conjuring up demons right at the graveyard, okay? Somebody doing heavy work to bring you down. Somebody definitely want your death here, okay? Holy Spirit, what is this? The devil is working overtime, all right? But divine said, so am I, okay? Look at this. Someone wants to implant thoughts for you to suicide, so you don't want to kill yourself. Look at this shit, all right? Death note spells. Somebody wants you to kill yourself, all right? Are you fucking kidding me? All right, they could also be sending this shit to your kids. All right, so please pay attention to your children, especially if you have children who are insecure about anything that's going on in their life. They could be trying to send this energy to your children. All right, you might be strong. All right, you might have boundaries, but don't let this shit um, get to you like that. You have to keep praying, keep believing in the Holy Spirit to take these energies, all right, away from you that somebody is trying to attack you with, all right? And as for this bitch, it ain't working. I send it back to you, all right? I send it back to you, all right? And good luck, all right? And someone is working to break up your long-term connections or marriages here. So if you get married or if you're married, they want to break that shit up too. All right. And this is someone is sending curses to negatively affect your health. Someone wants you to be sick and shit. All right. They send all this shit to you because someone don't have shit else to do in their fucking life. All right. But divine said you are protected from this energy right here. All right. To make sure that you never marry nobody. And if you do, it's going to be fucked up marriage. That's what they saying. All right. This is what they praying for. Doing spell work on. Holy Spirit, any more messages out of here? All right. Any more messages out of here? Anything else you want to say? Holy Spirit. Blocks causing you a lack of direction, um, causing you to not have clarity, not be able to use your intuition, trying to block your third eye. 
all right someone is trying to get into your akashic records here so they can tap into your gifts so you won't be able to utilize your own gifts that divine has given you somebody is trying to cause you to get into some type of legal trouble with the law they appear doing trouble making law spells on you so you can get arrested because they're about to someone is working with the different moon phases to cast spells on you they consistently doing moon magic on you in addition to everyday magic on you all right the devil is working over time yeah i might as well call this video that all right someone is flaming hot mad because all right they doing candle magic on you all right they hot mad they flaming hot mad so they doing candle magic like a flaming hot mad spell all right whatever that is all right and someone is having a tough time in life and trying to bring you down with them all right so somebody wants to bring you down with them somebody wants you to be like them because they can't handle life and they realize or they haven't realized that all of the spell work they're doing against you is only backfiring all right back to them all right i send it back to you holy spirit all right, we send it back to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All of this negative, toxic energy. Please give us some more energy on this devil that's working overtime, Holy Spirit. What is this energy? Yeah, all right. This devil right here, y'all, this devil won't revenge. This person is pissed off. This sexual entity, this sexual demon, they want revenge all right they have this voodoo doll of you and they doing heavy spell work on you all right you feel aches and pains in your body it's because they have a voodoo doll and they're stabbing your body all right this person caught somebody cheating all right or got caught cheating and they're pissed off here all right if this person caught you cheating they have a voodoo doll of you and they're using this voodoo doll to create aches and pains in your body all right and they're definitely stalking and trying to invade your privacy okay whoever this devil is holy spirit what is this energy yes this person could be trying to hack into your bank account especially if it's a wells fargo bank account okay please be aware all right and also somebody realized that they made a foolish mistake mistake connecting with this devil yeah somebody's stuck in this their world is crashing down somebody could have got into an accident somebody's hurt crying miserable because they realize this devil all right has ruined their fucking life you know this person want revenge it's like at an all costs whatever to do to get back to at somebody here yes this person is very obsessive destructive is what i hear all right this person will win at all costs they're saying look at all of these speak holy spirit this person is pissed off because they're broke this person could have went to their bank account wells fargo and realized that they're low on funds somebody could have 36 dollars in their bank account all right somebody is medicating drinking too much intoxicated all the time passing out okay who is this devil someone was misguided by this devil all right misled someone someone's in the woods in the home somebody could be watching somebody searching for somebody looking for somebody or something could have happened at a home in the woods okay yeah someone is a coward all right this devil is a coward all right somebody is shame embarrassment is what i hear here somebody didn't take action towards you all right somebody feels stupid now all right because this situation has now passed all right and now somebody's stuck in an uncomfortable situation okay with who the devil all right holy spirit let's get into this energy who the devil okay What's this energy? Yes. Who always play the victim. Who always act innocent. Who always act like they not up to shit. Alright. But this person behind the scenes is making major threats. Alright. Is making major threats behind the scenes. Okay. Holy Spirit. What's this energy? Alright. Yes. Alright. Divine saying this person is a fucking clown. Alright. Somebody just a clown. And that's all to it. 
somebody could dress very flamboyant, wear a lot of makeup as well, okay? This person could be tracking somebody through their GPS, all right, through their GPS, this devil-ass energy, okay? Who is this energy, Holy Spirit? It could be a Scorpio, all right? It could be a Libra, it could be a Virgo, a Gemini, a Cancer, a Pisces, Aquarius is what I'm hearing, okay? Holy Spirit, all right? Sagittarius, Aries. So it's a lot of signs, okay? Holy Spirit, Narcissus. All right, whoever this devil is, they're narcissists. This person wears a mask, okay? This person could be a night worker. This person could be a prostitute, all right? This person could be, you know, I hear paymaster, that card. This person could get paid for sexual favors here. And Divine said this person is very unstable, all right? Somebody could have got flooded out of a situation, all right? There could have been a flood someplace here. All right, so I hear thunderstorms, power, destruction. Somebody's power might go out. It might be some um, destruction. It might be a hurricane or tornado. I see heavy winds. Um, yeah, somebody got a lot of secrets right here. All right, whoever this devil is and this person is going through your stuff. All right, this person could have a connection with someone who work in some type of government facility here. And this person could be going through your things, trying to find out about you. This person could be going through your stuff to commit identity fraud on you. It could have been some cut and pasting information done to get some ID on you. All right, and somebody's playing a lot of games here. All right, somebody's risky. Somebody could be playing um, dice. It could be a gambler. All right, somebody could be a heavy gambler. All right, Holy Spirit, what other messages do I have for this devil energy that's stuck in spell work? All right, yeah, this was somebody's lover. All right, this is somebody that they keep holding on to from the past that they offer a clean slate to. All right. Y'all archangels, divine, has been watching this person, okay? This could be somebody's lover that's getting attacked by the devil. All right, 666 here. Look at that. I just hear 666. But 666 also means raising your vibration. It don't have to mean the devil energy here. I don't incorporate that. I incorporate raising your vibration, trying to remain at a higher level. A uh, um, higher level of vibrating so you won't get stuck in devil ass negative thinking and energy. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's this? This definitely was a lover who could I have connected with the devil. All right, Holy Spirit, what's this devil energy? Yeah, this person is acting like this because they broken hearted. All right, it could be an air sign someplace, three of swords. Somebody could have also had a heart attack here. All right, and somebody's heart is really dark and it's broken. All right, something could have happened to somebody's lover. Somebody could have got stabbed. All right, three times in the heart. Yeah, I said a Gemini, a Gemini Libra Aquarius. All right, this could have been involving a Gemini, specifically, is what Divine is saying right here. That could be acting like the devil. Yes. Aquarius also, okay? Something's going on here. I, I hear altercation, all right? Yeah, somebody could have been in and out with both of these energies, or these energies are in and out energies. Somebody could have been sexual with both of these energies. Two lovers here, all right? Yeah, this is the lover's card. Somebody had two routes to choose from, a Gemini and an Aquarius. Somebody could have been sleeping, sleeping with two people here. All right. Yeah. Somebody could have been getting paid here also by the Queen of Pentacles. All right. This person could have been giving somebody some money here. All right. Somebody could have been working for this person. A boss type of energy here. All right. But somebody had multiple lovers. Somebody could have been married to the Queen of Pentacles. 
All right. It could have been some type of stability with this person. They could have had some money. But somebody also had other multiple lovers here. All right. Two other lovers. A Gemini and an Aquarius. And this is the devil energy here. Something was definitely about money. The Eight of Pentacles is here. Earth sign energy. Virgo Taurus Capricorn is here. All right. Somebody was just an in and out lover, lover. All right, that's exactly what they was. They was already committed, but they still had, you know, other lovers. And these lovers done put curses out here. Spell work on folks now. Definitely doing candle magic now. Yeah, on the Pisces. All right, all this is happening because the Pisces had too many things going on. It seemed like three lovers. Somebody could have been a soulmate here. This person was confused about who their soulmate was. All right, type of energy is here. All right, yeah, boom, bang. All right, so on the whole family situation, this person could have had a family already, but they had all of these other lovers, and boom, it's a tower moment. And I'm going to end it right here, all right? So the devil is in full effect, all right? Something came to light, was illuminated about a bunch of lovers that somebody had, possibly a Pisces. Somebody took on this devil last energy here. All right, somebody was in a connection due to finances, and there was a tower moment, and that's what I have for you guys. And whoever um, lost out, they was they doing heavy candle magic, and stalkery and fuckery and bullshit to you. Whoever this person was connected to, okay. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace out.